Hello, welcome to Straight Coding. Today, we are going to spin up Reddish on Docker and learn some basic Reddish commands. So I've got here two terminals and let's start off by typing docker run. Then you give a name of the container. In this case, we will say Reddish local. And you specify the port. The host port that we will use in this case is seven six three seven nine, and then we will map it to six three seven nine for Reddish. And then you give it um, the the image path. So here we have this Docker run name, and we've given it as a look Reddish local. And then you specify the port and the image is ready so we press enter and if you don't have it locally it will download it and start off the container so now the container is running and is readily available so what we can do is from a different uh, um, powershell or terminal we can now start ex executing some commands so what we're going to do next is we're going to do docker execute and then go into that container and then execute Redis CLR. So we do docker execute interactive terminal then we go we specify the container which is Redis local and we do Redis CLI okay so as you can see here this is the local host and the port that we specified earlier which is 6379 is here so we're now in the container so we can now execute some reddish commands all right so we start off by saying get we do a get key and then here is it asks you for the key so get key so that's the cache key so in this case let's say name and there's no value for name so we can set a value so get sets as soon as you type you can see some um, suggestions there as well so now we specify the key so name and then the value that we want to set it to so here it says Tom now we've set name to Tom so we can get name there okay and obviously another command is delete so we can say delete and then it asks you for the key And it's deleted so if you do get name again it's nil okay now what we can do is we can also set an expiry date so we can do set and let's say results in this case let's say result and the value is let's say complete and it's here you can say X EX is expiry and then you can specify in seconds as you can see here X, X, EX and then it asks you for seconds so here we can say okay I want it to set to let's say 5 seconds it's now set so at the minute you can go for results it's there and after 5 seconds when you go get result again it will be no there so there's no value because you've set it for 5 seconds and it's now expired okay so let's set again and then there's another command that I want to show you so set let's say uh, yeah again name Tom now there's command called append first let's get it first and confirm that we have it set command called append so you can say append it asks you for the name for the key in this case name and we can say okay so we are going to append Jerry to the Tom is added and it, when you say get name it returns Tom Jerry okay so that's the basic commands of reddish on docker and it's very easy you can now if you have a local service running you can now point it to this reddish container and it will be working fine for you okay thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe